So um, Netflix has released a new codec called the AV1 that will help you stream less of uh, what you stream right now. So it's technically just going to reduce the data you spend on streaming their videos generally. So I think this is good for guys that spend a lot of time on Netflix. Now, this AV1 is not really a new tech per se. The, uh, the industry has been generating, uh, sorry, been working on this particular AV1 Kodak support for a while now. So it's not like it's a new thing. Um, YouTube has it. YouTube has been testing it out as well. Um, other platforms have been testing it out. I think Amazon, I'm not sure, but the other platforms trying to um, um, test it out. So basically, the the this the AV one dates back to 2015 when it's kind of like brands like Netflix, Amazon, Google, Intel they kind of like began developing it to reduce the cost of data streaming and um, be able to kind of like make it more efficient, even work its way down to um, being reasonable for people that don't have a lot of data to um, waste on content, especially guys that stream in 4K high dynamic range formats. So um, the the article on what HiFi says that despite first being used in 2018, compatibility issues continue to be an issue. Um, Netflix is only offering the AV1 Kodak unselected titles for users on Android devices who uh, have that enabled in their settings. So it's not like even if you update the app right now that you would instantly get this thing set up you have to go into the app and uh, more or less set it up and it's not for all devices so they they go on to say that on a more positive note netflix says it plans to roll out av1 across all all platforms in the future so it's not on all platforms probably going to be for their uh, higher end tvs on uh, premium uh tvs more or less but it's still going to come to your mobile devices, uh, your tablets, your other little devices uh, in the future, which they never stated when it will be launched. But <clears throat> for now, I think it's a cool new tech. Uh, it will definitely reduce uh, what people spend their data watching online. And I think I think it's pretty good. Uh, for what it is and i really can't see a downside to this as long as anything helps the industry curb uh data spending uh data wastage and really not getting value for the data you're spending in general i think this is a positive because there is there are so many people that don't have internet access some places in america and some many places around the world so it's not everybody that can afford to be spending I don't know, maybe five gigabytes on a movie because I know to stream a full 4K movie, it should be about seven to 10 gigabytes to stream a full 4K movie. And that's not even the physical disc because physical disc goes all the way up to 60 to 100 gigs. So uh, to stream that movie online in 4K, even at an efficient rate, you'll be looking at between eight to 15 gigs if depending on the service you are streaming it from. So imagine streaming that quantity of uh, that quantity of data um, into multiple contents in a day. So it, it definitely piles up. So it becomes an issue, especially if you really don't have fast internet, good uh, service to be able to handle the the high demand for your streaming capabilities in general. So guys, it's pretty much great for what they are offering be sure to follow us on social media subscribe to our channel like our content and uh, we will we'll see you guys later